157. O ye who are strongly attracted, O ye who are mindful, O ye who are advancing unto the kingdom of God, verily with all my heart and soul and with all lowliness do I supplicate the Lord God to make of you ensigns of guidance, banners of righteousness, wellsprings of understanding and knowledge, that through you he may lead the seekers unto the straight path and guide them to the broad way of truth in this mightiest of ages. O ye loved ones of God, Know ye that the world is even as a mirage rising over the sands that the thirsty mistaketh for water. The wine of this world is but a vapour in the desert, its pity and compassion but toil and trouble, the repose it proffereth only weariness and sorrow. Abandon it to those who belong to it, and turn your faces unto the kingdom of your Lord, the All-Merciful, that his grace and bounty may cast their dawning splendors over you, and a heavenly table may be sent down for you, and your Lord may bless you and shower his riches upon you to gladden your bosoms and fill your hearts with bliss, to attract your minds and cleanse your souls and console your eyes. O ye loved ones of God, is there any giver save God? He singleth out for his mercy whomsoever he willeth. Ere long will he open before you the gates of his knowledge and fill up your hearts with his love. He will cheer your souls with the gentle winds of his holiness and make bright your faces with the splendors of his lights and exalt the memory of you amongst all peoples. Your Lord is verily the compassionate, the merciful. He will come to your aid with invisible hosts and support you with armies of inspiration from the concourse above. He will send unto you sweet perfumes from the highest paradise and waft over you the pure breathings that blow from the rose gardens of the company on high. He will breathe into your hearts the spirit of life, cause you to enter the ark of salvation and reveal unto you his clear tokens and signs. Verily is this abounding grace. Verily is this the victory that none can deny.